um, not really being fully prepared. I just want to apologize, but uh, the thought that came to mind, the Gemara said, <coughs> in the preparation for, for Purim, from Fanganon, um, the Gemara says in Megillah that Fidalid, that the, the mice with Achishverish and Haman, where Haman offered a lot of money to Haman to kill the Eden. Like said, I cast of Nasanloch, but Al Nasis with the Tzem Beinecha. So the Gemara says over there, it's a marshal to two people. One person had a pile of dirt in his field, and he wanted to get rid of it. It was in the way. And his neighbor in the next field, he had a chrit, he had a hole, he had a pit, and that was uh, it was dangerous. He wanted to fill it up. He didn't have any dirt, so he was looking to buy dirt. Each of them were looking to pay somebody, and they happened to have met. They met each other. Uh, a couple of days later they met each other and they were both talking about the dilemma they were in so they said oh great there's no reason for each of us to pay I want to get rid of my dirt you want a chritz let's just make it happen and there's no reason to have any money so Kach the Gemara says the Maestro with Achishverish and Haman is Achishverish wanted to kill the Yudin he said no reason to pay me keep your money because I want to do it anyway and that's what the Gemara says so it bothered me if Haman was offering Achishverish so much money Obviously, Haman was so close to Achishverish knew that Haman loved money. And Achishverish loved money. Agam, he was a Oisha Godel. He was Kesev, he was He knew, obviously, he still he loved a lot of money. If not, he wouldn't have offered him so much money. So if he offered him so much money, why didn't Achishverish just take the money? By the Chritz and the, by the, by the Moshal, he had no, there's no reason to pay me for something I want to get rid of. Just get rid of, take my dirt. And, and, and the other way, he wanted to fill up. Why would he pay somebody? There's no reason to have any money here. But over here, was offer, he, Haman was offering so much money, why not just take the money? Why not? Just felt the money, to take the money. Why does that take away from, from, from killing the Yidin? Take the money. It's what bothered me. But Hashem, afterwards, we found that uh, Reb Chaim Kineski in Time of the Crow, he has a shayla. So Reb Chaim uh, brings over there a, a Yalkut, which I have quoted over here. Yalkut says something very, very interesting. It's a long arichis, but basically he says, Haman, after he offered the money, or when he offered the money, Achishver saw that he didn't want to give the money. It bothered him a lot to give the money. That's what he says over here. Which Chaim mutches with. What was the pshat? He offered the money. But if he offered the money, was he upset? Kids are. Chaim says over there that what's the pshat? He wouldn't give it. He offered so much money, though. But he offered it, so why did he. It sounds like before that. It sounds like before that. Bra Melo Shaher Lai Kesef. So he says, so Rabchaim Muchas on the Yaakov, what's the pshat? Because he's getting his money's worth. If he's getting money, why is he upset? Why does he care if he's going to give it to him or not? So he says that, he says the pshat is, Rabchaim, Kibish Rosh Amit Star Kokach, he was afraid is that Ham would have Harata. He'd take the money. He saw that he didn't really want to give him so much money, and then he was afraid that he would have Harata and he wouldn't do it. Because Achishurish hated it. He says over there that he was afraid that he would have charata if he gave him, if he, if he so that's what Chaim says, the, the, the Pshat and the Alchemist. But I feel maybe one of two other Mahalchem, possibly, is that Achashverish told Haman he, that he's such a Sunni Yisrael, I, I hate the Yidin much more than, much more than Maman. As much as I have a tremendous Chem, this Maman, I love money, but my sin as Yisrael is so much greater than you and much greater than money. Achashverish wanted to kill the Yid in Lishma. He wanted that it, that it should be, because the sinner was so stark, he didn't want to be paid for it. He wanted to do it the sinner Lishma. Stands on one Mahalach. Maybe a, another Mahalach, even if you don't want to go as a bite, is that the Maisa, when, when someone pays you to do something for them, you become a Shiba to them. Bishasta Avaidah, Bishasta, when you work for somebody, you become, you become an ever to that person. Achashverish was such a Melech, he was so busy with his COVID, he wouldn't even, he wasn't even be him that if Shad is, if he get paid for it, then, Haman, then Haman would, he'd be working for Haman. He'd be allowing Haman to, so whatever Haman wanted to do, if Haman wanted to kill Yidin in a terrible way, in a barbarous way, which would look bad for Achishverish, it would look bad to other people, let's say he would kill them, he would behead them, he would do terrible things. That's not the way you kill, even the way you kill has to be covered Achishverish wasn't masking him to take money. If he took money, then Haman could do whatever he wants. So Bishas Tarigas Yisrael, Haman would be in control. That was a steer to, to Achishverish. Achishverish wanted to do the Melech. Now even Bishas Tariga, 
he wanted to make sure that he's the melech and that no one else dictates how, how it's done. He says, Avadi said, Kesem Nosanach, Am Lasis, Mitzrayim, Beinecha, but Avadi, he couldn't do it any way he wanted. It had to be Tachas, Tachas, Shlukim. Shlukim, Shlukim.